Yo everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Adam if this is the first time you're watching and this is my Nissan Silvia. It is currently broken, running like a complete sack of shit. So my friend Lewis is going to look at it today, but that means I've got to take it up to Coventry, which is so far away from me, but it'll be worth it. I love this car, so let's get going. I've, I'm already like an hour late because thin. And I was trying to set up my camera mount. I got one of these like proper hench ones and it, I just can't work it out so that needs that's a thing for another day that, that can good good camera mounts over there so before we jump straight into this video being all about the Sylvia I'm mean, obviously gonna check out Lewis's cars as well because they've got some super rad stuff in their unit I just need to ask for your guys help sl just slightly now I want to I want to with this YouTube channel this year I want to do one podcast a month which i think is doable whether that is with my lot or a car guy that i know shut up Santa. or with someone within the industry or a youtuber or something along those lines and i think that should be fairly simple for me to sort out the what i also want to do is i want to try and bring two feature cars to the channel per month now that doesn't sound like much when you have obviously all the other youtubers that do like five or six to ten to twenty reviews a month but that's all I can realistically give my time to do. I want my features to be like top class this My features to really be like top class this year. And I want the cars, the cars don't have to be fully modified, but I need them to be interesting or a performance car or something rare. And they haven't got to just be a Honda. I don't, I don't just want Hondas as a feature cars. Um, I want it to be a real nice variety and this is where you guys come in like if you guys have know somebody a friend a friend's dad that has something cool and maybe a classic or something old or just something that would be really interesting to do a video on a drive to get some really nice uh, videography of just um please get them to get in touch the adam Ivel youtube page is a thing now so i'll fucking scare the shit out of me so uh, yeah, if you just could just go over to, oh my God, it's all going wrong. Just go over to the YouTube page and just get them to message me through that or my email address, which is just a, uh, which is just Adam at 621. Either of those, I can then start to do the uh, the um, planning with. I want it, I need to get two in this month. Ideally I need to do four, so I've got two for when I'm away in America next month too. But time is not on my side, so I might not have any for you until March time, which would suck like but it is it is looking like that way but that's my goal i'd like to get two feature cars on the channel per month and i think i might even do my dad's chevy because that could be kind of cool too but that needs to go have its brakes done so uh we'll do that when that's ready but yeah that's all i need if you guys know of any cars that you think are like wow this is so rad or wow this is so rare like the cozy i like to do some more ford stuff because that gets big views no i'm joking i'd like to do uh some more Fords up because I really like the old Fords. Just go from there really and hopefully can grow the channel um, this year more. Yeah, cool. Right, let's head up to uh, Coventry. Right, we've got the fuel. Yeah, boy. We've got the bacon and cheese turn over. Yeah, boy. And we're only an hour and 50 minutes away now. I hate sitting at like 50 miles an hour. So shit. But safety first. Okay, I made it. Thankfully before the sun went away because I got here really late. I'm sorry. He's, Hello. Up. He's helping me, thank God. Right, so we've just been up the road and there's a whole new noise that's appeared and it is like drastic, isn't it? Like that whirring noise is like, I was scared. She's gonna blow! We're gonna see what he, he thinks now and I'm all right just to leave it with you. Yeah. Sick. But it does look cool at least, even if she's broken. I kind of got the van stuck, so I'm gonna have to be pushed. So they're going to do a compression test first, just to check things, right? Yeah, just for peace of mind. Pray for SR. Yeah. I'm 20. I'm 20, so they're all like within a few percent, but like you say, if they're meant to be higher, like it's, it's been saying 150. Okay. You might just get a high mileage, worn engine, but they're not like, One's not drastically lower than the other. Yeah. For any sort of. How much more? After looking on the internet, it looks like the engine is running quite low on compression side of things. So the internet says about 150. Mine's running like 115. <laughs> but 
It, it's, it was... Whoever listens to the internet. Yeah, fuck that shit. I mean, it worked before this noise, so it can't be that. It might be, well, we don't, I don't know. You know, fuck it, I'm not, I'm not rebuilding it, so... Just wait. Uh, taking all the pipes off to get to the turbo. I'm just these back lines out as well. Can you just undo it from there? Yeah, that's right, I'm just checking them out. I'm just oh, okay. them on. If it just gives me a bit more access to get down in there. <laughs> I am, I am part of the SR. Yeah, try and pull it out. No. Go on. No. Go and pull it out. <laughs> so we've gained a Lewis, but we've lost some compression. Ah. Breeze out. Just a dipstick, so you can pull that that oh, way. Right, yeah, it's 10 mil. Yeah. 10 mil. It's down, down, down there. It's... Yeah. He's stuck again. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but I'm yeah, going to. because I twisted my wrist 90 degrees and it just got stuck. <laughs> This is where someone comments on it and they're like, oh, do you know anything? You do this from beneath. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, all right, well. Shall I do it as a clickbait title? SR Eats Man. Body control monitor. Actually, I need to use my fucking special hat to watch. <laughs> you got a torch on your head? Yeah, not even. <laughs> and it's USB compatible. Come on, Chris. Help me. Probably could have got it out by now, <laughs> Oh, mate, that's my breath. <laughs> Stick your camera in there. Oh, I can actually, even yeah. I can see it. it. Even I can see there's an issue, and I have never had a turbo car before. Do it with this if you want to. Here you go. Yeah, then it just looks fine. Yeah, okay. There you go. Oh, bye. Hang on, let's have a look on there real quick on the camera. Oh, dear. Garrett time. Well, at least we know what the issue is. Like you say, the fucking the engine ain't like. That's bad. So we've worked out what the issue is. Hopefully, it'll be like a cheap resolve through it. Let's have a quick look at his Porsche. <laughs> so this is like a proper build. So uh, I can't wait to see this, man. It's gonna be a long time thing, I think. But look at that. It's a really cage in it. It's gonna be sick. And then there's the badass Corolla. Slow down. Chicken of the cave. Well, at least we know what the issue is, right? And uh. Goals under an hour, so that's what we're trying. Amazing! To I can't. I'm so happy. And, it's uh, no Toyota, is it? It's no. It's no Honda. <laughs> but no, I'm. Uh, I'm happy. It'll, uh, it's a cheap turbo to replace, and I've got some ideas to also do to start the preparation for this going bang. So I'd say it's an all-round successful day. Brilliant. Yes, let's go get some fine, fine chicken. Pigeon. <laughs> Rats. Let's quickly show you Chris's uh, CRZ. So this is Chris's CRZ. So have we we sold you some bits before for this or not? I can't remember. Lug nuts. Lug nuts. So uh, he said you're getting rid of it. Yeah. Got a Civic track car that you're rebuilding and doing fluorescent yellow. Is that a secret? No. Okay, Chris going fluorescent yellow. <laughs> what a boy. Uh, yeah, that's sick. The you got a boot build in it? I got. Boy! <laughs> Yeah, it's it actually was, a super nice job, dude. Where, when it was on coilovers, um, I was inside with them at Fitted. Uh, oh, cool. I'm going to go to that show this year. Yeah, yeah cool. I'm now on my way home. I cannot thank Lewis enough for doing this for me. Like, turn right onto the road. I cannot thank Lewis enough for doing this for me. He literally texted me the other day going, dude, do you want me to just have a look at your car? See if I can diagnose it. And I was like, do you know what? Why not? I haven't seen him in a little while. It'd be cool to hang out for a day. I'll bring the car up. 30 minutes and he realised he knew what it was. The the turbo, I, I think we caught it just before it ate itself because on the test drive I took him up the road in it, the whirring noise was... The whirring noise that it had was wild. Like it was so loud. I was, I was like, I don't want to drive it in case the diff explodes or something, man. He was like, no, no, no. Sounds fine, just keep going. <laughs> um, so yeah, I need to order a new turbo. I'm not gonna go big or upgrade it or anything. They said not to worry so much about the engine compression test because we did it under the wrong kind of conditions. So the engine wasn't like warm. 
really that warm. Um, it was at heart, like, it wasn't a full open throttle, so they reckon it would have bred a bit better under the proper conditions. So it's not too much to worry about, but I do want to keep my eyes open now for an SR block to slowly start to rebuild myself. I'll get all the information and start to try and do it myself because I want to get more hands on with all of this. I'm going to do the EG engine this week as well. Pick up my new car this week. Oh, I'm so excited for that. It's going to be so exciting. I'm going to do a video for you guys. I've also got someone coming down this weekend. He's been on the channel before. Um, I think you'll love seeing him again. We'll have some fun. We're going to go out and get really drunk. It's going to be a lot of fun. And, um, dude, I'm going to be so, so, so relieved that we've worked out what the problem is. And it's going to realistically just cost me the cost of parts to fix because Lewis did it for the price of Nando's, which is just amazing. Like, And I just wanted to say, like, I met him through drifting. I met him at a drift day that I went to on my own. So, uh, I just find it amazing that people you meet for these communities, if you want to learn how to get in a drifting man, it's simple. Get a car that can do a skid, book on a drift day and go. You don't need to have any friends. You can rock up, meet people, you will make friends there. And it's just, it's superb. I feel so brilliant about just everything today. So. I'm buzzing, I can't wait to get the car back working. I'm so excited to know that it's not like a wiring issue or anything annoying like that. Um, hopefully, once the new turbo's fit, it works fine. He said he'll have a look at it, and if there's any other issues, then we'll go from there. But um, yeah, I'm really, 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 really happy. So, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the episode. Give us a thumbs up for the S15 problem diagnosis. And uh, I'll catch you again soon. Please uh, subscribe if you don't already. See you next time. Peace. Nobody else but you You caught my eye